Let's pick this guy off over here. Michael Bringhurst wants you to let him out, apparently. Yeah, of course he does. He's the second boss. Huh? I'm guessing he's not a very nice person, then. No, he's a perfectly good individual. The only problem is, is he has uh, a little problem being hairy. You'll see real quick. I'm sorry, what? Yes. Uh, he has a little hair growth problem. You'll see in a second. Is he a werewolf? What is happening to me? Sounds like a werewolf. Sounds like a werewolf. Oh yeah, I call it when I see it. Wow, he is fluffy. Man, the werewolves in this game are uh, fluffy this... as heck. Look at them. They're awesome. They're awesome. Okay, the way this boss works is he's really easy. If he stays in the light, he gets a stacking buff that causes him to do successfully more and more damage to the tank. However, if you pull him into the shadows, like over here, um, he takes he doesn't do any extra damage, and he really doesn't even hit that hard, which means um, pew pew. And as you can see right now, he goes in the middle and fears everybody, mm -hmm. and he starts gaining stacks of Lunar Madness. Um, after the fear wears off, you have to run in there and smack him. He casts Piercing Howl, and then um, you have to pull him out of the sunshine. And he loses his stacks, and he gets small again. And well, then he dies. Poor puppy needs his... <laughs> I can't... When the word's not coming to me, it's a little bit too late. And puppy fall over. Puppy fall over, puppy dead. Puppy dead. And today, today we were sad because puppy died. Oh, poor puppy. Anyway, puppy dead. But I like the werewolves in this game. Don't diss them. If I had I'm not dissing them. Skin, I'm just saying they were really, really fluffy. Like really, really fluffy. Oh, son of a bitch. Yes, I did teleport inside of that. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, God, that was priceless. Oh, boy. We you get join yourself, smartass? <laughs> we, get to, we get to see the uh, what mages have to deal with in WoW all the time in this game. Because rogues are the spec that have blinks. Or yeah, let me count calling. them. One, two, three, four, five. I have six of them. Six blinks. As a tank, anyway. I've only got one. Because you're using the tanking tree. Yep, yeah, and it automatically just gives you one at the start. I will warn anybody that uh, has arachnophobia... You're probably going to want to look away at this next boss that we're coming up to. We did have that one uh, that one girl in one of my guilds that uh, couldn't handle going through an axe because of the boss. The spider boss. She she actually could not do Naxxoramus because she uh, had arachnophobia and it was so bad that uh, she just couldn't I know, clear. I thought that was priceless. Were you in that guild? No, I was not, but I heard about it, and I thought it was the funniest thing ever. Well, I was not amused. It was it was not amusing to me at all. Because uh, she was like one of the, the hunters, and if you're a hunter, you can't do that. You have to be looking at the boss. It was also hilarious because hun Hunter with Heragnophobia. I wanted to log on her account and go tame a spider pet. <laughs> That's how much of a jerk I am. I'm not even lying. So, um, you see this giant ele elemental that this person has out? Yep. That's actually a tanking pet. So, this person is actually making my life more difficult by making me have to pull thread off of her pet. 
Well, you could let the pet die, I guess. Why? So they resummon it? Yeah, that won't work. True. True. Did not think of it that way. I'm learning a lot from uh, from running this. I'm learning a lot. Because I... So yeah, that is that is one ugly spider. By the that way. is massive. Look at the size of that thing. Okay, the way this boss works is everyone stacks on its butt. I'm going to tank it. It's going to randomly cocoon people where they stand. You burn the cocoon. Tank spank, tank spank. She summons a bunch of small spider ads. Uh, I pull them. AoE... Buzz people out of spider shell, spider webs, nothing to it. Let's go kill it. Okay. Throw my uh, armor piercing buff on there. Debuff, rather. What's it mean? Pyro when just got uh. When he eyeballs you, you get cocooned, so you need to go bust him out. And you also need to stack on its butt, not its side. Okay. Stacking on the butt. Stacking on the butt. I'm kind of not really paying attention to all the little spider ads, because I can't really do much on AoE. It's like a waste of time. I like being the only person busting webs. Makes me feel important. Okay, there's my uh, my cooldown. Let's put that on the far, because apparently I need to use defensive cooldowns. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Hot sauce. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I am happy with this new weapon. It has made me happy. I'm going to enchant it. Ah, you're welcome. I'm going to enchant my axe again. And I'm good to go. Good lord, I'm so used to Chogron just being able to pull. Like, when I tank this place on Expert, I pull whole rooms at a time. And not being able to do that is irking me slightly. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry our healer is kind of kind of off in La La Land. Gravy training. Hope you don't die. Uh, I haven't even I'm got a heal this. yet. You died. Uh, I didn't get a single heal. I think it's uh, time for you to rage at the healer. Healer rage? Rage at the healer? Yes. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not going to edit their name out. I'm sorry. Like, I just, I don't do that. I'm sure they're a great person in real life, but just, just, uh, just, uh. I am so tempted to tank this as freaking assassin so I can just heal myself. That's what I'd be doing. Yeah, but Guardian... Guardian phase has all my stamp. I'd only have like 3,000 life. Hmm. 3,000 life doesn't really mean much when you die, like, instantly, though. I had three of them on me. I just... The healer's not healing. Ugh. Ugh. How dare. And I'm such a scrub, I don't even have freaking water on me to heal myself. <laughs> he only has one heal! <laughs> he 
He only has the one heal and he didn't do it. Ah! This guy's gonna argue with you now. He knows better. Oh, what a fun group. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish this one, and then uh, we're gonna do another one. Except I'm gonna read my cleric healer, and I'm gonna show you what a real healer does. You can. I don't think I'm gonna film that one, though. <laughs> this is fine. Because I'm about 10 seconds away from just losing it on this kid, and I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> I, but, I know you are. <laughs> That's why I think it's funny. I'm sorry, but you've got like four heals. You have Bloom, you have Vile Spores, you have Withering Vine. Good God, how many more do you need? Why you gotta be so bad? Oh. Why you gotta be so bad? Oh my God. Alright, come on, Mr. Iyak or whatever your name is. Let's go, get in the room. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. We have like, we have all of the stereotypes here. Like, look at this. We have the experienced person, that's you. We have the noob, that's me. We have the, the derp, <laughs> this healer. We have the AFKer, which is the, the mage. And we have the guy that thinks what he knows what he's doing when he doesn't, and that's the last guy. <laughs> it's kind of all the roles they fit this entire time. Well, I guess I'm less of the noob and more of the just the person. I'm glad he actually moved. I was getting close to a party kick. Okay, the way this boss works is you, um, it's called the Gedlow Council. You have to kill them one at a time. When you do, the other two heal and gain a buff that causes them to take, respectively, less magic and physical damage. They also gain more spells. Like, the first one, you need to interrupt it and purge him, because he puts heals up. Two, he puts fire on the ground. Three, he charges around at random people and stuns you. So depending on the order you kill them depends on how hard the encounter is. The way I have them marked, one, two, three, is the easiest of the uh, permutations for this boss. All right, I'll rip him a new butthole then. Okay, I'm on Mr. One. And the party seems to be following your kill order, which is good. Always a good thing. Dedicate my death to the flame shine. Thirty percent cooldown, go. I think we got him. You did. Darkening deeps. Darkening deeps. Um. And a happy little chest with loot in it. Nothing for you though. What dropped? Intelligence stuff. No. No war plate. No. And then. Let me see. Hey, come here. Hey. Rare equipment cache. I have a. Pr I have a present for you, little shit. Oh dear God. Okay. Well, I got a new axe. I've got a ring that... You said damage per second is pretty good, Apparently, right? DPS is what you look at. Uh, that, that holds sway over everything else. That and stat. Okay. Alright.
This power rate's good. Power rate. Anyway, um, all right. So that's that instance completely done. And thank you for that awesome walkthrough and explaining everything and dealing with that one healer that we were about to kick in the vase with stuff. And it's all cool. It's all cool. Yep. Whew, that was fun. All right. See you guys later.